a very good day all and welcome back to art and craft a hobby in today's video i'll be sharing my experience painting this koi fish pond on a glass bottle so let's begin first i have a glass bottle here on which i have dabbed a coat of black paint for making the stones of the pond i have taken three shades of paint here white black and blue I need a lighter shade so I have taken more of white. I am now mixing the three colors and I will be adding some more white to make it lighter. I am now applying the first coat of this paint on the bottle and I will allow it to dry. I am now applying the second coat of paint on the dried surface. I am done applying the two coats of paint. Now to make some speckles on the surface I have uh, some white and black paint which I am going to mix with a little water. With the help of a toothbrush I am going to spray these paints one after other. This was white and now I am going to spray the black paint. This pattern has to dry well for us to proceed with the next step. This is how the pattern will look on drying. I am now drawing random shapes all over the painted surface to make the stones. Sorry about the black color which is not well visible in the grey background. I am now going to highlight all these drawn lines using some black paint. I am now filling the crevices between the outline using some black paint. Also if there is any wider crevice, I will be making small stones there. The stones are now ready. To give a 3D effect, I will be outlining the edges of the stone using some darker shade of grey. I am using a very little of paint on a moist brush to do this. I will repeat the same on all the stones. I am now using a moist brush to merge the crevice line with the darker grey shade of paint I have applied. So this is basically to eliminate the thin edge line between the crevice and the dark grey shade. I will repeat the same on all the stones. The layer of stone painting is now ready and I have applied a layer of glue which will dry clear to give it a glossy effect. I have now taken some shades of green and yellow paint. I will be using this paint to make some weeds and leaves on the stone bed. I have mixed all these paints with white paint so that when the paint dries it is opaque and bright enough. If you don't mix any uh, lighter shade it's going to try uh, dull and rather less visible. On the stony layer I have used glue to coat However, a best alternative would be resin because once you apply a coat of resin and then you make any errors while drawing on the resin, you can easily wipe it off. But with glue, it's difficult. So I had some challenges there. 
also do not mix too much of water to the paint else it will end up drying flaky i'm now painting some water lily leaves i'll be painting these water lily leaves and the weeds randomly all around the stone bed i'm painting the weeds straight to align with the direction how i place the bottle you can make it in any direction I'm using a darker tone of green to make the veins of the leaf. I'm now going to paint the koi fishes. Koi are the colored variety of fishes which are generally bred for ornamental purposes in outdoor ponds. There are quite a few variety of koi and I'm going to paint uh, three varieties of those today. I'm first going to make a outline with white paint and a base coat as well and on top of the white paint I'm going to apply the intended color now making a lotus it's not a very detailed lotus i'm first making a outline with white and then highlighting it further with a pink shade I'm now outlining the lily leaves and the fish using black paint. You can beautify this pond by adding more elements. I'm limiting it to the fish weeds and the flower. This was a painting I was inspired by seeing other videos on YouTube and wanted to give a try for the love of colors. Hope you all liked my effort. If you did, please do hit the like button. Also, do share your feedback on the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe to Art and Craft, a hobby. Thank you for watching. Keep supporting.